Hello! <laughs> Welcome back you guys to another YouTube video. Um, I am so sorry that this video has been so delayed. As you can probably hear from my voice, I have been sick for the last two weeks. Um, it's been kind of weird because I haven't been sick in so long to be sick like out of the blue. But if you live in California, you know the flu has been going around and I caught it. But I'm just really happy to be coming out of the sickness. Um, but I appreciate you guys' patience. In the meantime, I know this video has been something that you guys have been requesting for a while now. And so I'm really happy to just get right into it. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about how I was able to, you know, buy my rig, save up enough money to buy Big Bertha. It's going to be a little bit of an overview, so if there's anything that you guys want me to go uh, more in depth on, feel free to drop a comment below. I have no problem um, basically answering any questions that you guys have. So I've worked ever since I was 15. I did a lot of um, under the table jobs where I was just paid in cash until I can get my worker's permit. You know, doing little house chores for teachers things like that um so when i turned 16 though i started to pick up a lot of um retail jobs as well as food service jobs in the year of 2020 though of you guys you guys know that's when the pandemic started so i was kind of coming to my own awakening about a lot of things as far as like career personal growth just things that i wanted to do and change about my life and I knew that I was not really happy in my jobs. I hated fast food, I hated retail, because they just didn't treat their workers very well. I was having a lot of really negative experiences, and I knew that, that was something that I wanted to change. And to completely change industries, especially in a time in the world where we were in the pandemic, a lot of people were being laid off, so it was really hard to come by a job was I would say the most difficult thing and then at that time I had just dropped out of college as well so <laughs> I looked like the amazing candidate <laughs> let me tell you it was really really hard for me to find work because I had like this long laundry list I knew I wanted to work remotely I knew I wanted to work better hours I wanted to work full-time I wanted to have benefits just all that stuff so during this time, the thing that helped me the most was just having patience. A lot of the finance jobs have a lot of remote work and a lot of remote opportunities. So I was doing a lot of my job searching on Indeed, and that was where I eventually found the job that I'm working now. So just like as a little tip to you guys, if you're also looking for remote work, some of the key phrases that I put or typed into the search bar to kind of feed the Indeed SEO was CSR, which stands for Customer Service Representative. I did obviously remote work. Um, I did a lot of like marketing jobs, telemarketing, um, cold calling, warm calling. Um, I did a lot of, um, like I mentioned, customer service, um, but just stuff like that. Um, because when you're working, like basically picking up the phone or doing customer service work, it's very easy to just do that from your computer and to do that from anywhere. And these jobs are very competitive. On Indeed, they'll tell you how many people have applied for that job that you're going after. Um, and at the time during the pandemic, everyone wanted to work from home. So I could you not like one job listing would have like 4,000 applica applicants. So it was very much me just having to apply, apply, apply. I would say applying for jobs turned into a job. Denied, 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 denied. Um, and it was terrible. I kid you not. It was so hard and rough on me because I knew that if I was just able to find that remote work, it would just fit so nicely with like my remote lifestyle, like living in the bus, traveling. So it was so important to me. And to be shot down as much as I was getting shot down, like it was... It was a dream killer in a lot of ways, but I just kept applying and I just kept trying to put my best foot forward. I kept pursuing the employers, calling them, texting them, just, you know, sharing experiences that would make me qualify for the job, even though I didn't necessarily have the job experience. So just like trying to work it from that angle. And I just never gave up. I just kept applying, kept applying, kept applying, kept applying. Um, 
and to be honest i got it eventually <laughs> it was just a grind i can't lie i put every single thing that i had into this bus all my time all my money all my effort and this bus is a physical manifestation of every single thing that i've been working on for the last year and a half um so basically after i completed my job search and i got hired it became a lot more easier to make money but now it was okay how are you gonna save money so some of the things that i used to save money was um a budget book um that helped me a lot i bought one off of Etsy because you can custom make the um envelopes um i use the cash envelope system and part of the reason why i wanted to go with the cash envelope because i know that cash is very inconvenient but i went with the cash envelope system because I wanted to become more aware of how much money I was actually spending. I got in the habit of just kind of using my Apple Pay and dinking my card or swiping my card and it's very easy to it's very easy to <laughs> think you have the money in there but you really don't have it in there and so the cash envelope just helped me with my organization system a lot better because it was just like a more visualized concept of like hey you have say for example fifty dollars to spend on activities and once there's no more money in your cash envelope then you have no more money to spend on that so it was just a lot easier for me to stay on budget and to stay on course when i was able to sort out my money and it was like the physical thing of like taking money out of my envelope and then paying the teller versus just like swiping my card and then like not thinking anything of it so i used the cash envelope system and i also used uh, google sheets to kind of create and set out my budget conscientious because like the whole month i was thinking about okay i gotta put this aside for this gotta put that aside for that and it made it so that i can put aside a good chunk of money every single month in savings um and that's basically what i use to save money as well there's only so much money you can save when you're working a nine to five um and during this period i was just doing a lot of research to make sure that i was taking advantage of every opportunity that there was to make money um and i realized that i wanted to be in the bus a lot sooner than my deadline was which meant that i had to make my money quicker than just you know working my job and getting paid twice a month um and now while i was doing this research i came across egg donation um, which was another way that I made money. Um, now, when I was younger, around 16 to 17 years old, uh, that's when I first heard about egg donation. And I was always super, super interested in it, but I just wasn't old enough to do it. Um, but when I turned, because at this time I was 18 when I started the process, when I turned 18, obviously I was of age and it came back up again in my research of like kind of finding ways to make money. And I was just super, super taken with the idea of not only being able to help a family bring a child into the world but also having that be like a simultaneous benefit to help me get into my bus and get into you know the place of my dreams so i went through the process to become an egg donor at 18 but it wasn't like a quick process all in all it took me about a year to fully for the full process from like the application the screening the doctor's appointments taking the um injections or the medication and then doing the surgery in which they harvested my eggs um so while i was working basically i was also pursuing um the egg donation and going to my doctor's appointments and giving myself injections and all like this really crazy stuff um so that was another way that i was able to make money and i made almost seven grand from donating my eggs being that i was a first time egg donor when you donate um multiple times i know that you make a lot of money or a lot more money um but i think that the fact that i was donating for the first time and i made seven grand that was pretty cool um i don't know what it's like in every state but because i know it's different from certain egg banks and things like that um but at least for me in california that's how much i made as well um, i was so thankful because just 
putting it out there it definitely wasn't just all me i had a lot of support and when you're trying to pursue something as big as this as big as like a dream it's so important to have people behind you who also want to support you um because at the time i didn't have transportation so when it came down to doing all these job interviews while i was in the process of looking for a job I had such amazing friends who would just, you know, take me where I needed to go. If the job interview was like an hour away, all I had to do was call them and they would take me because they just supported me and my dreams so much and that was so amazing. I had a very, very amazing mom who let me stay with her while I was saving money so I didn't have to worry about things like rent, which was a godsend and it was so amazing because I could literally just work and save up money and even with my egg donation she was there with me because i have a phobia of needles so she was there helping me out and making it so that i could attain my goals and attain my dreams and i'm so thankful for every single person who helped me on this journey of you know getting my bus because i know it just wasn't me it was my mom it was my friends all my support systems all the people who were just you know encouraging me especially during the times where it was a lot more challenging just telling me Michaela you're gonna get there one day and just pushing me through it all and it made such a difference in my mentality but if you are thinking about it my biggest advice would be start now like you never know what the world is going to hold in a couple more years so if you know for a fact that you're committed and you want to live the nomadic lifestyle and you want to travel and you want to save money start now like what's holding you back even just putting aside like five dollars a nickel whatever like if it's your dream pursue it because you only live once and so i i mean i started as soon as i wish i would have started sooner and i wouldn't I wouldn't have spent so much time doubting myself um but as soon as i got over all of that i was like okay well I'm gonna be serious about this because the pandemic just showed me so much about life you know people who spent all their all their time working in a job just to be you know laid off and then they're in the same boat of not knowing how to pay their bills or pay their rent it was just so much hardship and everything was so expensive and it was just like i knew for a fact that i didn't want to rent and i didn't want to be like stuck in that because i didn't want to be working to live and living to work it was just something that genuinely terrified me um i wanted to have more of a choice so that when things happened like that that were super unexpected i didn't feel like things were happening to me you know i wanted to have some some control if that makes sense and and what my life is going to be i didn't want to just be living someone else's life and then still not getting what i want anyway so i was like you know what if the world is going to be the world why not just try? I think the pandemic gave me the permission to really just try. <laughs> so anyway, I say all that to say, if this is a sign to you, if you come across this video because maybe you are interested in bus life or van life, I would say do it. It's nice over here. We got beach views and hot wings <laughs> and, a, and a sweet little cat who just sleeps and it's so amazing. So do it, do it. You know what I mean? Just do it. You know, money is all about what you're able to do with the money that you make, you know, and how it makes you happy. I mean, I have made that money back in so many ways because if I was renting that whole year, I mean, rent in California, the average is like $1,500. So, you know, you do the math, do that times 12. I'm actually saving money being in my bus. It's just that with bus life, you get a lot of upfront costs but overall it's worth it especially if you're in a position where you can like maybe stay with your parents or stay with a loved one um and they're gonna kind of just let you as long as you're working and taking care of yourself um you know just make your money and not necessarily have to pay rent which i was very very blessed to have had that so thank you mom i love you <laughs> um but yeah it's really just gonna come down to how you position yourself first and foremost um type of job that you're working so that you can be able to save up money and hey if you want to donate your eggs cool or any like side hustle that you do or um any other side income that you have all of it goes back into the bus or maybe you get a loan it's all about how you want to do it um but that's just a little bit of how I was able to save up for my bus um i hope you guys found this video helpful if you guys have any specific questions or if you want me to go more in depth about anything um feel free to ask i'm an open book um and i love to share 
uh but again thank you guys so much um i appreciate all the support that's been going on the channel um i love all the new subscribers that i've been getting i see all of you guys i see all of your comments i love answering back um if you want to keep up with me feel free to follow me on my instagram at the real mgia i do a lot of things on my instagram as far as like fashion thrifting um i do a lot of like gardening stuff little mini vlogs here and there um just things that you know may not want to be posted on the channel i post on my instagram um if you like bus related content go ahead and subscribe you know i know it's corny but i am a smaller channel and i'm trying to get to 1k subscribers <laughs> so it really helps um you know clicking the button clicking the bell so that you get notified um feel free to like this video if you found it helpful it also helps the algorithm lets youtube know that you guys are liking content from me um and yeah, I appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs>